snapping your fingers along. This is great. A blast from the past. Big band jazz done in style by the top performers from Oahu schools and some world class musicians coming together to shine at Hawaii Theater. We're so glad to get to tell you all about this big band bash. Kevin Pease, Director of Performing Arts for Iolani Schools, here with Timmy Shee, the Director of Jazz Studies for UT Arlington. Pleasure to have you both Thank here. Thank you for having us. Great to hear this. Great it really is that old big band sound that you know some of our parents grew up with, actually. Mm -hmm. Tell us what's going to be happening. So this is a concert on Sunday the 3rd, this coming Sunday at Hawaii Theater. And this is an outgrowth of a program that began about five years ago, the Hawaii Jazz Institute. Mm -hmm. It began as a summer program and an opportunity for us to bring professional musicians to Hawaii to work with our students and to get students with a common interest of jazz together. Tim, you've traveled a long way for this, too. So this is a great opportunity to get the world-class and local musicians together. Tell me about that. Yeah, along with uh, Curtis Ade, who's the director of jazz at Iolani School, he and I kind of devised this idea about uh, jazz outreach in the Honolulu area. Mm -hmm. And so uh, putting together world-class jazz musicians who are also incredible educators and working with the youth of Honolulu. It's really been a fantastic experience and, and ongoing. You're one of the guest artists. So tell me about interacting with this next generation and keeping the big band genre alive. Well, we have a great passion for it because, you know, jazz is America's unique art form. And so we think it's really important. We also think it opens up a lot of possibilities for students through jazz improvisation. You know, the ability to express themselves and uh, become more confident. So it's, it's, it's really a powerful Thing on many, many levels, and uh, the culmination of working with them in their schools, going to their home schools and working with them this week, and then, and then bringing it all together in this really fantastic concert with, with the International Jazz Collective Big Band, made up of professionals, actually, from all over the United States and the world, and featuring Eric Miyashiro, Hawaii's own, Honolulu's own. Oh, it's fantastic, too, and Iolani has really embraced jazz, but it's not just Iolani School that's involved in this. Correct. It's, uh, we actually have four participating schools this year. We have Eva Makai Middle School, mm -hmm. um, Kailua High School, Waipahu High School, and then the three bands from Iolani. And uh, how many people do you expect to come out for this? Is this good for, you know, all ages? This is great for all ages. The concert will begin at 4 p.m. Uh, this Sunday at Hawaii Theater, uh, and the first half being the student bands performing and then after brief intermission we'll have the pros play um, but anyone that loves jazz music anyone that's even new to jazz music this is a great opportunity we're hoping to sell out the place and Tim I have to ask you as someone who is you know passion for music and seeing the students in that and telling you can really make a career and get outside of the island to showcase some of the music is that one of the rewards for you as well absolutely in fact uh, one of the musicians who's playing with the pro band is uh, a graduate student at UT Arlington. Her name is Taylor Katase. She went to Iolani, oh. and she is a fantastic drummer and is, is really making a name for herself. <laughs> well, we are so glad to have this event at Hawaii Theater. Thank you both for coming in to tell us about it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to have the information for you on KHON2.com. And coming up next, Hawaii's Kitchen on the Road. Basalt cooks up a seafood mixed grill. That's one of the restaurants 